Hi, my name is Jay. I'm 19, and uh, I guess I'm one of the victims of me too one. Uh, I found out the passengers fell 4,500 feet. It's totally unsurvivable. Unless you fall into some deep snow or something and you're like miraculously, freakishly lucky. I searched it up actually, there was a guy in the Second World War. Fell out of a bomber from 30,000 feet. Uh, hit a pine tree, fell into some deep snow. Survived. <laughs> Stood up, scratched his head, smoked a cigar, wandered off. Probably to get fucked, I'd imagine. But mostly you've got no chance. So there was nothing that I could have done, even if I was a doctor or an ambulance guy, <laughs> rather than just a gormless idiot holding a cheese sandwich. You know something, I I asked the guy at the inquest and according to him, about 70% of the passengers were alive and conscious as they fell 4,500 feet from the air. It's a real bastard of a statistic to drop on us. I searched it up how long a fall from 4,500 feet takes. 22 seconds. Can you imagine that? Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. wondering what was going on in Sunny's mind on the way down. I keep timing myself 22 seconds like five times a day, obsessively. And I, I try to reconcile myself with the idea of death in 22 seconds. <laughs> and it turns out I run out of things to say after 12 seconds. <laughs> Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for my friends and family. Thank you for all the amazing places that I've been and all the great things that I've done. I hope nobody grieves for me too much. I hope to fuck this doesn't hurt too much. You see, 12 fucking seconds. What am I meant to do for the other 10? Do I, do I just go wee and enjoy the ride? <laughs>